Hey there. So I did a quick little review of this um, tabletop easel, and now people have asked to see it in action. So I have my light pad on here, as you can see. I got these little clips with my light pad, which I love. I can hook them on here, and it can hold my painting in place. So here I have a, um, a 30 by 40. We'll, we'll try this one first. Um, I can put it right here. I can clip it onto my light pad. Okay, hold it in place a little bit. Um, and it hangs over the back. Now, I tried this other night with a different painting, which I can't show you yet. Huh? But I started down here, just because there was color down here. I wanted to, to do color. And I thought, what happens when this moves down? So if we move it down, then this drilled part with all the diamonds is going to have to come down this way, right? And so I thought, well, it can just keep folding under. But then I had this thought, and I thought, okay, if I start with it all the way down, I can tuck this under. I can kind of tuck this under the easel, and there's no, no drills on it. And I thought, okay, let's try that and see how this works. So now when I put this on here, hook it to my light pad. Let's get it over there a little bit. I can hook it in here. And this can kind of sit right under the easel. See how I've got it just folded under the easel? And I think it will stay there. Um, and then I can do my drilling. So, okay, let me show you this. This is a small painting and it fits across this way, right? Here's, here's something cool, right? I told you this drawer is in here. This drawer is awesome. So let's look at this drawer and see what I've done. <laughs> all right, so in my drawer, what do I have? I have all my tools. Here's this, here's some pens, here's tweezers, my sticky wax. Everything's right here. I also saw somebody who was doing um, a painting that had a lot of confetti, and they preloaded trays. And they just, so they didn't have to keep changing out all the time. So look at here. This thing can hold <laughs> an amazing amount of trays, right? There, let's see, get you a little closer. I got room for a couple more in there. I just didn't have a couple more of the bigger size with the open end, which I really like. When I get a couple more, I can slide those in there. I mean, this one fits in there even. I do it like that, right? So... Everything can go here. I could preload some trays and leave them loaded in here. I might want to not have spouts if I leave them loaded, but this thing, you know, slides in there pretty nicely. It's not really going to be a problem. So here's this. And then, like I said, I can fold this under. Now, I got a larger canvas. So let's see what happens when we put a larger canvas on here. Put that one over there. This one I've worked on a little bit. So same thing applies, right? I can still, I can hook it there. Um, okay, so this is kind of cool. Let me show you this. I'm not really going to load some drills in here yet. I mean, I could have, but let me take my pen, my little purple pen. Oops, my tray's in the way. Let's move it. Um, so I like to take my tray, and I can sit it right here. Can you see that? I can sit it right here. It almost sits flat all by itself, and I load my drills in here. But then, you know, I just put a little finger touch on it, and here I go. Just drill away, right? And it works great. So the same thing, I think, applies here. This is a bigger canvas. I can just move it. That's almost, that's almost half of it, right? Here's the side I've already done. Isn't he pretty? He's going to be so pretty. I can move him over like this. And this is the part I've already worked on. Um, and here we go, right? Get my pen, get my tray, and here we go. Just, it's easy. I lean right on this little shelf right here and just back and forth. It's very limited movement. It's pretty easy. So now I'm thinking, okay, when it's big, say this wasn't drilled, right? And I needed, I could start at the top like I thought I would like to do. I take this, put it underneath. Let me see if I can get it to go under here. It's got feet on here, which I think are kind of going to help it stay in place. Okay, let's pull him up a little bit. Slide it up a little. A little more. And, all right. And then, 
hook it. This is not perfect, but you'll get the point, right? Um, and then I got this. I've kind of lost the shelf, but it's still there. And I can still put my tray here. And I can still, see? So I think underneath, underneath the um, easel will be a way to hold it in place. And if I don't have drills on it, I don't think it's going to do any damage to anything. And then as I slide up, then it'll hang over the back, right? So I think it's pretty awesome. Um, $13. $13. So people have asked. Let me get this real quick. People have asked, where can you get it? I ordered it on Amazon. All right? The company I ordered it from, it's right here. It says Marquee Desk Easel. It's by Art Alternatives. And I just Googled Desktop Easel, but this one, the name brand is Art Alternatives. All right? See it? Art Alternatives. It was really like $13.60 or something like that. So if you want to give it a shot, here you go. Now you know what to look for. And now you've kind of seen it a little more in action. And I like it. It's sturdy. I did put the palette behind it. You probably wouldn't need to if you have a light pad. Because the light pad is going to be sturdy enough, you know, to... Yeah, you can push on that and it's not going anywhere. So, there it is. Give it a shot if you like it, you know. I love it. I'll show you a painting soon. It's a special one for a special person. So I'm working on it, trying to get it done. See you soon.